A life cycle assessment is a technique used to assess the environmental impacts associated with all stages of a product's life. The three main features of any life cycle include a product's manufacture, its use, and its disposal. But there are sometimes other stages, which we will consider later. Why do you think it is important to consider these aspects when making a product? Pause the video, think about this, and resume when you are ready. When a device is manufactured, the materials it's made from can have a huge environmental impact. With the wide-scale use of mobile or cell phones since the 90s, not a lot of thought went into the materials used to make them. Now huge numbers of these phones are found in landfill sites. Mobile phones are made of 40% plastic, 40% metals, and 20% trace, and ceramic materials. The materials used to make mobiles weren't ready to be used by manufacturers. This means they had to come from somewhere. Have you got any ideas where? Pause the video and resume when ready. Some suggestions would include crude oil, which is used to make plastic casing, or the metals, like copper, used in this circuitry. Also, when making the display and the rechargeable batteries, other metals also had to be mined. In doing so, vast amounts of energy were expended. Mobile phones have eight life cycle assessments, one for each component. These include the printed circuit board, the display, the battery, the keypad, the microphone, the speaker, the plastic casing, and any accessories. Now we're at the manufacturing stage of the life cycle assessment. Mobile phones made in the factories require a great deal of energy to create. It is estimated that during manufacture, a single cell phone uses approximately 1,390 millijoule of energy and produces 60 kilojoule of carbon dioxide emissions. Many products require the use of packaging as well to prevent spoilage, damage, contamination, and tampering. By considering the materials these phones are made of, or reducing the number used in their manufacture, this can lower some of the energy requirements. The next stage in the life cycle of a phone is its packaging and transportation. Packaging consumes valuable natural resources, such as paper from trees, plastic from crude oil in the earth, aluminium from ore, or other materials, all of which use energy to extract and result in waste. Although some packaging can be made from recycled materials, in addition, the transport of phone by plane, truck, rail, or sea, all require use of fossil fuels for energy and contribute to global warming. Next, when making a mobile, or cell phone, the environmental impacts during its useful life also have to be considered. The environmental impact of a phone is lower than, say, of a car, which burns fuel for its entire life. However, the lifetime of a mobile or cell phone is estimated it's only between 18 to 24 months. This means that existing phones are exchanged for newer models, so more and more old phones are being dumped. One way to extend the useful life of your phone and prevent waste is to use the same phone for as long as possible. When you shop, try to make sure you get the service and the phone that's right for you. Inevitably, each phone will come to the end of its useful life. This is the last part, the disposal stage of the life cycle. How do you think you can dispose of your phone more responsibly? Pause the video and think of some ideas. Resume when you're ready. Some ways would include the reuse of your phone, just because you may have finished with it. If you donate it to another family member or to a charity, the phone will get a second life. Another way is that you recycle it. Electronics recyclers are becoming very popular. Today, many stores, manufacturers, and recycling centers accept cell phones for recycling. While some electronics recyclers only accept large shipments, communities, schools, or groups can work together to collect used cell phones for shipment to electronics recyclers. Some rechargeable batteries can also be recycled, as several retail stores and some communities have started collecting them. When rechargeable batteries are recycled, the recovered materials can be used to make new batteries and other stainless steel products. In the life cycle assessment, the worst possible scenario is disposal in the landfill. Life cycle analyses of all our manufactured goods are beginning to be made. Cars, for example, are being constructed so that they can be taken apart more easily at the end of their useful life, and the separate parts are recycled properly.